In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to take an old table leg and we're going to make it into three chunky farmhouse candlesticks. Then we're going to take this broken rooster, we're going to repair it and give it a whole new paint job. Then we're going to take this box that I got from the thrift store and turn it into a beautiful farmhouse planner. So you're ready to do these projects? Then come on and let's dive in. About three years ago, I found this table leg for $3 at the flea market. I was hoping I would come across three more, but I never did. So this is going to make the perfect candlesticks. So we're going to cut this leg into three parts. Okay, that's one, and I think that looks pretty darn good. And that makes two and three. I have a few wood bases that I got from Joann's and we're going to glue them to the candlestick. We're going to use that star bond because that worked really good on our project with the windmill last week. All right, I think I'm going to try the star bond again because it works so well on our other projects. So these are heavy duty and the bond on that last project was so tight that I think this is going to work well on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, a little of this star bond on the bottom of each of these little platforms that I have and then we'll go outside and spray a little accelerator and then come back and just position it on there okay let's go ahead and do that take the cap off you know what? I'm gonna put gloves on because again I've only worked with this product one time and I'm not sure if I should wear gloves or I shouldn't but just to be on the safe side I think I'd rather wear gloves than uh So I'm going to take this off and then we'll put a little glue right here on the bottom. Okay, put a little glue on the bottom here and a little glue on the bottom here. Oh, sorry, you can't see, but I do have some of that star bond on, on each of the pedestals. We'll take these pieces out and then we'll spray the accelerator on the bottom of each one of these. And then we'll come back and place it on there and see what happens. Okay, so this is our first one. I'm gonna go ahead and place this directly on there. So we got enough time to work with it. And press down. Hopefully, that will bond well. I'm gonna spray the next one. Okay, so put that one right here. Press down. Okay, one, one last one. Now this one is so narrow on top. This one's so narrow on top. We're gonna add a little plate to that. So I'm gonna add a little star bond to the top. This thing is already, look at this. It's already glued. Of the star bond to the top of this candle. Spray some accelerator on the top. I'm going to just kind of center that on the top there. I just got to show you this. Like, I got to show you how strong this is. I thought this was a little off. I thought this was a little off center, so I tried to move it. I cannot move this at all. Like, this is stuck on there. It is, like, on there. Okay, so these are bonded together, and we need to get this screw out of here because we do not need it anymore. It's rusty, but I think it's going. Either that or these are just circling around. I think I'm getting it. Anyway, we're gonna get this out and then we're gonna fill this in here because as you can see, they took a little out so that it probably would fit in the table really nice. 
So we're gonna just fill that in a little. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and fill this in here. I love using this stuff. This stuff is great stuff. I use it on my furniture when it has like, you know, dents and whatnot. Anyway, so we're gonna use a little of this. We're gonna fill that in and make it look like it never was altered. Okay, just open that up. It's really creamy. And you're just gonna take a little with your, your little tool here. Okay, so I have it looking pretty decent. We're gonna let this dry and then I can sand it and you'll never even know that this was a leg of a table. Okay, so our candlestick is completely dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and go out, take it outside and sand it. Now I love the color, that's why I bought this, because it's ornate and also it had great chipping and it had great color. But being that none of these match, like the new wood with the old wood, we have to paint these. So that's what we're going to do. Now you don't need to cover everything, but we are painting this black so that when we paint it white, when we distress it, the black is gonna shine through. It's gonna look nice and chippy, and that's the look we're going for. So we're gonna wanna get into these grooves here. Because that's gonna look really cool when we go to sand. You're going to see all the darkness. So we are going to use the Vaseline technique here. I'm going to just put a little Vaseline on this. The reason we're putting Vaseline in certain spots is because once we paint this white and we go to sand it, the paint is just gonna come right off because paint doesn't adhere well to Vaseline. Okay, so we are using Bear's Paint and Primer in One, and that is in pure white. So we're just gonna paint these all white, and then we're gonna go ahead and distress them after they dry. Do you see how the paint just comes right off in those spots we put the Vaseline? It just makes it so much easier to sand and it gives a true chippy kind of effect. And then I just added a few candles that I got at the thrift store and I think these came out beautifully. Now onto my broken rooster.
A few weeks back, you might remember we did the vintage market. Well, this rooster didn't sell, so I put him in the U-Haul, but I put him in the cab part because I didn't want him to get broken. And when I opened the door, you guessed it, he fell out and got broken. So much for keeping him safe. Anyway, today we're going to fix him. Okay, so we're going to use a little of this Starbond to fix this. As many of you know, if you watched last week's video, I received glue from this company and we tried it out and I really liked it. So we're going to try it on this, this rooster. So what you want to do is you're going to put on one side a little of this and then on the other side we're going to put the accelerator and then we're going to join the two pieces and they are going to bond instantly. So let's go ahead and take the rooster's head off that broke, unfortunately. And then I'm just gonna put a little of that glue. So this is just like super glue, so I don't wanna get it on my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on and we'll go ahead and do that. So I'm getting gloves on right now. I'm gonna put a little of the Starbon super glue all around the top here. I'm just gonna, maybe I can tilt it to show you. Oops, it's pretty heavy, this thing. Okay, so I think you can see it now. And we're just gonna put some of this glue all around, all around the sides here. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put our rooster back down. Now, I'm gonna take the other half, the poor chickens, or the poor rooster's head, and I'm gonna spray some accelerator, this on it, and then when we join both pieces, it's gonna be instantly locked. But I'm gonna do this outside, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I just got done spraying the accelerator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. And I hope I line that up really good because again, this stuff bonds really fast. It's like an instant bond. I'm gonna push down on there and it should be instantly glued. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we have that on there. Okay, so I have this now all glued on. It's glued on there really tight. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Magic Sculpt to fill in the little spots that need it. Like right here, around the back of the neck, he needs a little bit too, and anything else I see. So we're gonna mix that up real quick. You take two parts, one part of the hardener, and one part of the white resin. You mix them and see here's the hardener. It's gray. So you take equal parts and once you have equal parts of it, you're gonna mix them together. I have a little too little of the, the white resin. Equal parts, mix them together, twist them, turn it, and once this gray here turns white, it's gonna be completely done. I wear gloves because it's a little sticky when you're mixing it. Now with this epoxy resin, you can even add water to it and kind of smooth it out. I, I love working with the Magic Sculpt. See, I'm not really seeing a lot of gray anymore, so. That means it's mixed properly. So we're just gonna fix this area here. I'm gonna take the glove off now that it's all mixed. Okay. And we're just gonna put a little right in there. Just filling in any kind of
I'm gonna take this tool and kind of just go in here like this. use a little water and by using a little water on your hands you can just kind of smooth that out see how nice that works there we go looks like we need a little bit more right here and add a little more and when this epoxy resin dries it is like rock hard so it's like perfect. And let's see. I kind of want to make a little, like it's the feathers. There we go. A little gap right in there. That's perfect. No one will know. right up here because there is a little hole right there I'm gonna take a little brush and kind of stipple that a little make those indentions see how this has a whole bunch of like little stippling I'm gonna do that with this epoxy resin so that it all blends in well Okay, so that's good. I think we're good with that. Now on the back of the neck, as you can see, it's broke right here. So we're gonna wanna blend that in along the line there. Again, I'm gonna use water to just kinda smooth that. to take my little tool here and just kind of make it so it looks like it was never broken. And as you can see, it's kind of cracked right along here. Again, we're going to do that right here. Chances are paint would probably cover this, but I just want to be thorough and just make sure that we're not going to have any issues at all. Turn our rooster around and look at the poor thing has a crack right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more right there. And then I'll do the stempling in there too. Poor guy, fell right out of the truck. And I was trying to keep him safe because he's so cool looking. Okay, so I'm gonna take that brush and just kind of do that stempling again.
So I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna paint them. We're gonna use this Prairie Gray by DIY Paint. Okay, so we have this pretty much covered here. We're just gonna let this dry. Um, there are still some spots that you can see the old paint, but that's totally okay, because we're gonna go ahead and put some dark wax over that. It's gonna seep into those crevices. And I think that lighter paint actually kinda acts as a highlighter to highlight the detail. So we're gonna let that dry, and then we'll come back with some dark wax. Okay, so our rooster is now dry, and we're gonna use a little of this dark wax on there. We'll see how that goes. Now I'm just gonna use a little of this Wise Owl Black Wax. This will just give it a little more depth. Now I just have like a, a damp paper towel and I'm just gonna kinda wipe on here. It's almost acting as if it were like a wet sanding.
Now I want to give this a little more of a warmer type look and it's going to look almost rusty. We're going to put some of the cinnamon and we're going to put it all over and rub that into our rooster. Now to finish this off, you're just going to want to brush off any excess cinnamon and then you can go ahead and seal that with like a matte clear coat. Do you see all the rich tones in this? I just love how this came out and nobody's going to know. Now let's go on to our farmhouse planner. I picked this box up at the thrift store for $5.99 and although it's all right, we definitely could make it something so much cuter. And let's go ahead and turn this into a farmhouse planner. We're gonna start by spraying it with flat enamel spray paint. Okay, so this is all painted white and I'm just gonna go ahead and just rough up the, the edges here. I already did a little bit on it, but just so you can see. So I wanna take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of go over the edges. And that gives it just a lot of nice character. So we're gonna put a little saying right here at the bottom, and then we're gonna put a decal here. So as you know, in my Etsy store, we have these little farmhouse transfer decals. We're gonna put the, the chicken right here. So I'm gonna get my scissors and we'll go ahead and put that on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut around the image and then we're gonna place that on. So you just wanna cut around the wording. Leaving about an eighth of an inch. These are very delicate, so you wanna be careful with them. Just kinda of go, sorry, I'm out of frame. Just wanna go around your image, about an eighth of an inch. And it should look like this. We're gonna go ahead and peel the backing off. And again, these are very delicate. So just be careful. And we're gonna place that right on the backing here. We're gonna try to center that the best we can. I kind of wanna see it when the box is up. Okay, so I probably want it about this high. Just trying to make sure that the words are s centered there. That looks good. I'm gonna put that there. And then just rub your finger across the transfer decal and it should be perfect there. Okay, so we got it exactly where we want it. And that's perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and just put a little decal right here. So using my silhouette, I went ahead and I cut out the letters that spelled out planter. Now we're just going to weed out any extra vinyl.
and we're gonna apply some transfer tape. Now we're gonna take our transfer tape and put it on our box and we're gonna go over the lettering so that it'll stick to the box. Okay, so I have the word planter on here. I have my transfer decal. And if you remember, we just did a vintage market and I bought some plants for there. I have two um, thyme left over and I think this would look really cute in here. So we're just gonna stick those in there. And voila you got yourself a planter. How cute is that? If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.